The safety of the people shall be the highest law. The soil of their native land is dear to all the hearts of mankind. The higher we are placed, the more humbly we should walk. The foundation of justice is good faith. It is as hard for the good to suspect evil, as it is for the bad to suspect good. Nothing is more unreliable than the populace, nothing more obscure than human intentions, nothing more deceptive than the whole electoral system. Honor is the reward of virtue. The enemy is within the gates it is with our own luxury, our own folly, our own criminality that we have to contend. The sinews of war are infinite money. An unjust peace is better than a just war. Brevity is a great charm of eloquence. This is the truth as from a fire of flame thousands of sparks come forth, even so from the Creator an infinity of beings have life and to Him return again. Cultivation to the mind is as necessary as food to the body. The authority of those who teach is often an obstacle to those who want to learn. The wise are instructed by reason, average minds by experience, the stupid by necessity and the brute by instinct. When you have no basis for an argument, abuse the plaintiff. I prefer the most unfair peace to the most righteous war. The greater the difficulty, the greater the glory. Time destroys the speculation of men, but it confirms nature. Take from a man his reputation for probity, and the more shrewd and clever he is, the more hated and mistrusted he becomes. Great is the power of habit. It teaches us to bear fatigue and to despise wounds and pain. In a republic this rule ought to be observed, that the majority should not have the predominant power. The causes of events are ever more interesting than the events themselves. I am not ashamed to confess that I am ignorant of what I do not know. Silence is one of the great arts of conversation. Glory follows virtue as if it were its shadow. If we are not ashamed to think it, we should not be ashamed to say it. Advice is judged by results not by intentions. Nothing is so unbelievable that oratory cannot make it acceptable. Friends are proved by adversity. No one is so old as to think he cannot live one more year. No one can give you better advice than yourself. In the master there is a servant, in the servant a master. Live as brave men, and if fortune is adverse, front its blows with brave hearts. Orators are most vehement when their cause is weak. What an ugly beast the ape, and how like us. If you have a garden and a library, you have everything you need. All things tend to corrupt perverted minds. What sweetness is left in life, if you take away friendship? 
Robbing life of friendship is like robbing the world of the sun. A true friend is more to be esteemed than kinsfolk. The eyes like sentinel occupy the highest place in the body. What is permissible is not always honorable. Rashness belongs to youth prudence to old age. Care should be taken that the punishment does not exceed the guilt, and also that some men do not suffer for offenses for which others are not even indicted. Nessire autumn quid antiquam natus cis exiterate id est semper esse purum. To be ignorant of what occurred before you were born is to remain always a child. He who has a garden and a library wants for nothing. A room without books is like a body without a soul. The injuries that befall us unexpectedly are less severe than those which are deliberately anticipated. The foolishness of old age does not characterize all who are old, but only the foolish. Reason should direct and appetite obey. Nothing contributes to the entertainment of the reader more than the change of times and the vicissitudes of fortune. Not to know what has been transacted in former times is to be always a child. If no use is made of the labors of past ages, the world must remain always in the infancy of knowledge. Knowledge which is divorced from justice may be called cunning rather than wisdom. There is no statement so absurd that no philosopher will make it. They are eloquent who can speak low things acutely, and of great things with dignity, and of moderate things with temper. Death is not natural for a state as it is for a human being, for whom death is not only necessary, but frequently even desirable. The face is a picture of the mind with the eyes as its interpreter. There are more men ennobled by study than by nature. The administration of government like a guardianship ought to be directed to the good of those who confer, not of those who receive the trust. Nothing so cements and holds together all the parts of a society as faith or credit, which can never be kept up unless men are under some force or necessity of honestly paying what they owe to one another. The multitude of fools is a protection to the wise. Freedom suppressed and again regained bites with keener fangs than freedom never endangered. Nobody can give you wiser advice than yourself. To some extent I liken slavery to death. Time obliterates the fictions of opinion and confirms the decisions of nature. Can there be greater foolishness than the respect you pay to people collectively when you despise them individually? Just as the soul fills the body, so God fills the world. Just as the soul bears the body, so God endures the world. Just as the soul sees but is not seen, so God sees but is not seen. Just as the soul feeds the body, so God gives food to the world. 
I add this, that rational ability without education has often erased man to glory and virtue than education without natural ability. There is no one so old as to not think they may live a day longer. Laws are silent in times of war. No obligation to do the impossible is binding. The magistrates are the ministers for the laws, the judges their interpreters, the rest of us are servants of the law that we all may be free. There is no fortune so strong that money cannot take it. Hatred is inveterate anger. What nobler employment, or more valuable to the state, than that of the man who instructs the rising generation? Before beginning, plan carefully. The only excuse for war is that we may live in peace unharmed. Nothing stands out so conspicuously, or remains so firmly fixed in the memory, as something which you have blundered. To some extent I liken slavery to death. Rightly defined philosophy is simply the love of wisdom. The nobler a man, the harder it is for him to suspect inferiority in others. We think a happy life consists in tranquility of mind. When you are aspiring to the highest place, it is honorable to reach the second or even the third rank. Study carefully the character of the one you recommend, lest their misconduct bring you shame. Love is the attempt to form a friendship inspired by beauty. If I err in belief that the souls of men are immortal, I gladly err nor do I wish this error which gives me pleasure to be wrested from me while I live. I prefer tongue-tied knowledge to ignorant loquacity. Empire and Liberty Let us not listen to those who think we ought to be angry with our enemies, and who believe this to be great and manly. Nothing is so praiseworthy, nothing so clearly shows a great and noble soul, as clemency and readiness to forgive. So near is falsehood to truth that a wise man would do well not to trust himself on the narrow edge. Friendship makes prosperity brighter, while it lightens adversity by sharing its griefs and anxieties. It is the character of a brave and resolute man not to be ruffled by adversity and not to desert his post. The sinews of war, a limitless supply of money. Nothing is so strongly fortified that it cannot be taken by money.